Bhagavad Gita, Texts 32-35 O Govinda, what are kingdom and happiness to us, when those with whom we might desire to enjoy these things, teachers, fathers, sons, grandfathers, maternal uncles, fathers-in-law, grandsons, brothers-in-law, and other brethren are standing here ready to fight, risking their own kingdoms, happiness, wealth, and lives. I have no desire to kill even those bent on killing me. O Madhu Sudana, O Janardana, I am not prepared to fight with the sons of Dhritarashtra, even for the sovereignty over the three worlds, much less an earthly kingdom. Govinda is the eternal cowherder, the pastoral friend of nature, God in his private carefree life. Govinda is also the joy of the Vedas. Owing to his relationship with Govinda, Arjuna has no desire for an earthly kingdom. Here, under the divine illusion orchestrated by Krishna, Arjuna offers other reasons as to why he does not want a kingdom, either for himself or for those dear to him, who would not live through the battle to enjoy one. As Madhusudana, Krishna is the slayer of the illusion of material happiness. Arjuna fears karmic reactions for killing relatives, and in ordinary circumstances he would be correct. He wants Krishna to take responsibility, for he is Janardana, the caretaker and killer of everyone. Furthermore, Arjuna implores Krishna as Madhusudana not to engage him in a war that he perceives to be contrary to the Vedic law, for Madhusudana is the killer of the demon Madhu, from whom the Lord recovered the Vedas, reinstating the Vedic path. Here, Krishna thinks, but the these people are aggressors, and there is no reaction from killing them. To which Arjuna responds in the following verse. 